Uh, the traveling overlord just tagged me on this question uh, under the comments on one of her recent posts, so I'm going to handle it. Patients at high risk for the development of preeclampsia have some of these risk factors. You only need one to be placed on low-dose aspirin for the prevention of preeclampsia. Pause to read. This is the list of moderate risk factors, so you need more than one, so that means two or more to start taking low-dose aspirin for the prevention of preeclampsia. If you go on down, you'll see black race in parentheses as a proxy for underlying racism. So let's discuss. ACOG goes on to clarify that low-dose aspirin can be considered if a patient has one or more of the following moderate risk factors, black race or lower income. However, they say, which is true, that black race is a proxy for underlying racism. In this situation, the risk to health is racism, not race. Black race and lower income are associated with an increased risk of preeclampsia based on environmental, so social, structural, and historical inequities shaping health exposures, access to health care, and the unequal distribution of resources, not biological propensities, meaning there's not an underlying biological reason that places these individuals at risk. It is their, the social determinants of health as well as black race. And an argument can even be made in a patient population that is primarily indigent and has patients of color, black or brown, that universal implementation of low-dose aspirin in all of those patients is reasonable.